Hello guys, welcome to today's news. It has been reported that there has been tension as gunmen refused to free an Ambra market leader after 11 days of adduction. It was gathered that the arm would launch beat him to stupor after which they bundled him into a waiting vehicle and drove to an unknown destination. Chief Enebe Francis, the abducted chairman of the Imbu Imbuka Amazon market in Onicha, Anambra State, is still in the hands of his abductors 11 days after the incident. It had been reported how the chairman was kidnapped by unknown gunmen in September, while the circumstances around his kidnap were said to be related to Monday's hit at home in the area. It was learned that the incident happened last week Monday shortly after the chairman had opened the market as directed by the market association in the state. It was guarded that the armed hoodlums beat him to stupor after which they bundled him into a waiting vehicle and drove to an unknown destination. However, there was uneasy calm in Umbuka Amazon market on Friday as the chairman of Shokoto Market, Onicha, Emeka Easy, regretted that, cha regretted that chairman of various markets in the city had been gripped by fear since Enibe's abduction, but added that prayers had been intensified over his immediate release. He said, We are not happy that our brother is being held. We have to embark on serious prayers for his release, for his release alive. The indigenous people of Biafra leader, impressing of Mazi Oindu in Amdakano, should be also be released for all this crime to end. The government should do something because it, it means we are not safe. The vigilante group can't do these things alone. There should be joint security operatives to face these gunmen because they don't operate with pump action gun but military rifle like AK-47 guns and other sophisticated weapons. Also speaking, the chairman, chairman of Aruno Market, Chief Emmanuel Idoko, described weak security in the market where the incident occurred, calling on the government to beef up security in the market. He stated that for this government to have picked the Umbako Amazon Market chairman without any resistance from the market vigilante group or any person, any other person, means that the security there is porous and not at alert when the unknown government stunned the market. We have security in my market and I am the chief security officer of Asmata. We are asking the governor to beef off security and this is a slight on the traders. It looks unbelievable that the market head was kidnapped. This has brought tension as gunmen has refused to free an Ambra state market leader after 77 days of abduction. Anambra State, which is a Nigerian state located in the southeastern region of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The state is created, was created on the 27th of August 1991. Anambra State is bounded by Delta State to the west, Imo State to the south, Enugu State to the east, and Kogi State to the north. According to the 2020 Census report, there are over 5 million residents of the in the state. The state name was formed in 1976 from the former East Central State. The state is named after Omambala River, a river that runs through the state. Anambra State is the anglicized name of Omambala. The state's capital is Oka. The city of Onicha, a historic port, port city from the pre-colonial era, remains an important center of commerce within the state. Nicknamed the Light of the Nation, Anambra State is the 14th most populous state in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, although that has seriously been argued against as Onicha. The state's biggest and most populous urban area was discovered to be over 1.6 million in population in population in 2022 by Africa Police, which makes Onicha one of the largest urban areas in Nigeria by population. The area currently known as Anambra State has been the site of numerous civilizations since at least the 9th century AD, including the ancient kingdom of Inri, whose capital was the historic town of Igbo Uku within the state. Residents of Anambra state are primarily Igbos, the, with the Igbo languages serving as the lingua franca throughout the state. During the Nigerian Civil War of 1967 to 1970, 
Anambra State was part of the Sechenese Republic of Biafra, formed by Igbo nationalists. During the war, Anambra State was inflicted with a, a severe famine, which devastated much of the population. Today, Anambra State is a highly urbanized state that has made major strides in, in reducing its poverty rate. Anambra State history, which stretches back to the 9th century AD, as revealed by the archaeological excavation at Igbo Uko and Ezera. It has, been, it has great works out of iron, bronze, copper, and pottery. This has revealed a sophisticated divine kinship administrative system, which held sway in, Anamb in its way in area of Anambra State from the 948 AD to 1911. In some towns, such as Ogidi and others, local families had hereditary rights to kinship for centuries. Great Britain recognized some of these traditional kings and leaders in their system of indirect rule of a protectorate of South Nigeria. The name of Anambra state is the Manji of Anam and Branch. Anam is the clan of the Omambala region, region and the last Igbo-speaking community the British colonialists encountered with while heading up to the northern Nigeria from across the river Rhine, They usually describe present-day Anambra as Anam Branch to their colleagues up north. Reasons Anam, Anam together with some neighboring clans was Anambra local government area when the state was created. It is now Anambra West local government area with Ulum Banasa. Agriculture is an important economic sector in Anambra. Oil palm, maize, rice, yams, and cassava are among the crops grown. Fishing is also part of the economic mainstay of Anambra state, more especially for communities like the along the river Rhine areas. Anambra State houses the first Nigerian vehicle manufacturer in Osin, an automobile manufacturer located in Newe. People all over West Africa travel to Onitsha to trade, which boosts the internal revenue of the state, making it one of the most top commercial towns in Africa. Anambra, which is the home of innovation, invention and creativity, there have been several innovations in Anambra due to its appreciation of education, which had added to the state's GDP. One of, the, one of those was 2018 when two brothers, Atiko Chukwebuka and Obaka Chukwebuka, was the first to invent machine that could wash off the bitterness from bitter leaf, a highly nutritious vegetable. The machine will greatly improve the productivity of vegetable farming in the state. The export of agricultural items is a continual boost to Anambra State's internal generated revenue. As in, as in 2017, $5 million was generated from the export of washed bitter leaf. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.